Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Anarchy Online. So where are we? What is going on? Uh, actually, I, not a lot of time has passed since the last, uh, since I ended the last uh, recording. Uh, we were uh, just in the Temple of Three Winds, and I said I'd kind of follow, you know, do a bit more of that off camera. So I did, um, and it turns out I gained a lot of levels pretty quickly. Um, which is something that tends to happen uh, when you're just in one of those dungeons. Um, and so uh, I am now level, let's see, 37, about to be level 38. I forget exactly what level I was when I was in the last uh, episode. Um, so let me bring you up to speed on what happened. So first of all, I, I finished the mission in Temple of Three Winds, which involves killing a bunch of guys. So that's how I got a lot of the experience. Um, I got, in terms of loot, I didn't get everything I needed, but I did get the ring. So here's a Notum ring of the three. So it's adding a lot of damage. It's adding NCU, max health. Uh, excuse me. Wow, I just had a sneeze and I was able to hit the mute button just in time. Um, so yeah, so uh, it's unique though, so you can't have more than one. And it also happens to buff PM and SI by two. Now there are equivalent rings that buff different uh, stats, but PM and SI is fine for me because a lot of our nanos are, are using that. Plus it gives you AC. So anyways, this is a great ring. And in my other on my other finger, I'm using this uh, ring that we got from Ergo because it gives us experience and just like a bit of everything. Um, what else did we get? Um, I got not a complete, I don't have it with me, so I can't show to you. I have a mostly complete set of that agent armor, the shadow fade armor. Um, in terms of ACs, it is much better than, uh, actually, I'm not, I don't remember if it's much better. Maybe it's about on par with this, with this, uh, armor that we have. It buffs mostly concealment, a bit of aimed shot, and there's a little, a few bits that have maybe that buff a rifle. Um, on the other hand, this one buffs NCU and first aid. Uh, you know, it's, I feel it's a bit of a toss up between the two, but in any case, we, um, we can't equip it just yet. It takes a bit more agility and sense. So anyways, I'm happy with, uh, the current set of armor that I've got. Uh, meanwhile, um, when I was, uh, I guess a few levels ago, um, I, I guess when I left te the Temple of Three Winds, so what I didn't get, by the way, is I didn't get the NCU upgrades, which is a bit of a bit of a shame um let's see we have got now um i'm gonna call the uh this is false profession metaphysicist and we're gonna call the healing pet i don't have any other nanos from the mp line um and actually normally you, you kind of want to do this early and then once the fp runs out you can switch to false profession doctor or something like that uh which is just gonna give you uh better you know, better heals, uh, or just like a better thing to have. Uh, let's have the pet heal me. Um, so anyways, yeah, so, okay, let's see. So that's the loot. Uh, so I still want to go, uh, let's kind of move here so that 10 of them don't come attacking me. Um, so yeah, so I definitely want to go back because I have to get all the NCU stuff. Um, now after I left the Temple of Three Winds. I went and rolled... I think we're going to take both of these on here with uh, total concentration. Uh, I rolled a maximum... Because I gained a whole bunch of levels very quickly, um, it was a good opportunity to go and get... Um, to go and get a new weapon. So that's exactly what I did. Uh, I rolled a maximum sort of quality mission based on, you know, the level that I was. And at the time, that was a quality 66 mission, a level 66 mission. So I got myself a level 66 weapon, which is the Cater Wall. Um, so the Cater Wall is, is like the best rifle that you can just roll as a reward from a mission. Um, there are other rifles. There's uh, one rifle in particular that you can get if you, like from a team mission, um, which involves actually killing sort of a, a, a boss at the end, but you have to have somebody else, you know, you have to form a team. Um, 
so there is a, a rifle from that but in terms of just anybody can get these rifles basically and they're not bad um now compared to the uh, gripocom that we were using uh the main difference is did we get a name shot yeah uh a couple differences so first of all the crit bonus isn't as high um so when you're going in total concentration mode you're not gonna like, the Gripplecom, even though it's probably level 50, was actually doing more damage on a crit than this weapon is. Um, so, in a sense, that means your big alpha strike is not as big. However, the average damage is much better on this weapon. So, so that's nice. So, this is definitely an upgrade. Um, this one uses energy bullets, which I still had a bunch left. Uh, of which I still had a bunch so that's fine um yeah okay so we upgraded the weapon then what else did i get oh i was able to equip it pretty easily i almost had enough um oh this is oh yes another thing i want to show you guys so let's talk about it right now so another item i picked up this you can get right at the beginning it's called an aggression enhancer in the devices section of any shop um and what it is, is it's a taunt. Like, you just use it on an enemy, and they will come and attack you. Now, you know, usually, I don't want that, because I want to open the fight with an aimed shot, right? I, I'm going to sneak and, and use an aimed shot. However, um, sometimes you just have a lot of enemies, and you don't want to... Here, I was trying to use my the rest of my total concentration, but that seems to have failed somehow. Uh, anyways, if you have a pack of mobs and you just want to pull one away, if you just attack, then they might have sort of social aggro and all come and attack you, which is bad news. Um, this specialist, I'm just gonna... This technician, I'm gonna punch once so that he doesn't kill my... My, uh... So I get aggro on it so that he doesn't kill my healing pet. Um, so anyway, so this tool is great for pulling when you have a group of mobs and you just want to get one. Uh, especially when we go to the Shadowlands, that's going to be really, uh, really useful. These cost nothing, just get a low, you don't need a high quality level one. It uses the psychology skill, but who cares? Um, you really don't need a high level one, uh, so they cost like nothing and everybody can use them. So that's a great little item uh, to have. Um, I did a quick mission for another nano, uh, just an agent nano called, um, uh, what's it called? Sniper's Bliss. This is just a rifle buff, a, two, a 50 point rifle buff, which is amazing. So, uh, and with that buff, I was able to just self-equip the rifle. Uh, so again, we technically, like right now I'm using a quality level 66 weapon, I could be using a much higher quality level weapon than 66. I was able to self-equip this, right? So, and I have terrible implants. So if I had higher level implants, plus with a wrangle, like I should be able to equip something of a much higher level, just to, just so you guys know. But still, I think we're doing okay with this weapon. Actually, this is the first combat that I'm doing with this weapon. So, so far I'm, um, so far, it seems to be working quite nicely. Uh, total concentration here. So obviously, we got uh, for some reason it lagged out a bit. I hope it didn't waste most of my total concentration. Oh, well, what can you do? Um, so we were level. Um, we passed level thirty-five. So we have. Uh, so that's the reason we're here on the alien ship because we've got. Uh, the opportunity to get uh, another alien level here, or at least we got the alien level from with our previous experience, and now we have the opportunity to sort of fill up our alien level experience bar again. Um, let's take a look at the perks. Um, I have uh, three regular perks. One is still in Black Ops. Uh, we're, we're almost never using this chaotic modulation because all our damage goes to poison anyways, so there's no you know because of these because we're wearing these bracers and these bracers are adding three damage so they're pretty much better than any other bracer that i can think of right now in temple of three winds another piece of loot that i got were these bracers that are great for agents they add one to the rifle skill uh they also add a bit of concealment and aim shot 
so that seems perfect but i still think plus three damage is is better unless of course you were trying to equip and you needed the extra little buff so obviously i'm holding on to those bracers they're in my bank uh, in case we ever need them to twink into a uh, a better rifle then we'll have those um so yeah so we've got black ops the um we can't get this next black ops until level 50 so no point there um assassin buffs rifle by maybe one i could get this one but this is just a i mean this is a one minute thing maybe assassin to i don't know i'm not uh you know more rifle these are just kind of pretty ordinary skills here we're just buffing sense aim shot no usable skills so instead i've put uh i've kept the one point in power up because of the damage and mainly because of the energize remember this is the the skill that i use basically all the time and it adds uh so if i have energize one let's see it adds 15 damage on you, and so it's up like half the time. So it's really, it's a really uh, nice skill. Uh, I'm going to, even though total concentration is up, I'm going to try to pull one of these guys out. I I misclick that. There we go. And I'll save my total concentration. I'm going to go in and shoot these other guys after with the total concentration. Um, and so I had one extra perk point. Um, eventually I wouldn't mind putting it in Nano Doctorate. This again is adding a lot of Nano skills, but I've put it in Cartographer. Cartographer gives you, uh, at the first level, it gives you a one hour cooldown, like travel skill, which brings you back to tier. So it's actually pretty handy if like after you finish like an alien mission or if you're in a dungeon and you just want to get home. Um, it's really it really saves you a lot of time to just be able to warp right back into the city and then you just take the wampa to wherever you need to go so um so this is really convenient um i won't need to have this always in fact very soon i will have um uh not very soon but i'll be able to eventually we'll be able to run this tr uh, fixer nano which Warp, which warps you directly into the grid. So, you know, there are other ways to, of getting around. Um, and finally, uh, for our alien perk points, we've dumped everything into Champion of Nano Combat, which is giving us uh, plus five, plus five, plus six, plus six, right? So we've got like an extra 22 to all of our nano skills just from those perk points, which is fantastic. All right here, we're going to just... Uh, kill these guys pretty quickly so this is a total concentration with aim shot and the other friend kindly waited a little bit but my total concentration had already run out which is too bad um yeah so that is i think that's pretty much it oh we also uh i did get the robe uh the exarch robe which is the best robe that you can get from temple of three winds it just basically adds a whole lot of ac um, and you resist some nanos, which is nice. You know, there are a few other little buffs, but, you know, it's just a, a solid rope. Uh, it's uh, better, certainly, than the uh, previous back item which we had, which was that suit. Um, so, yeah, that's a nice little upgrade. Uh, okay, I think we're basically done with this mission in that I've killed all of the aliens. Except for the two in the last room, which we're gonna, which we're about to go kill, and then end the mission. Oops! I walked right by the door. Okay, let's energize. So both of them are attacking me. Um, I won't. I might have total concentration in time. We'll see. Um, so I've got these new nano kits, uh, from the Temple of Three Winds guys. They require a first aid of 221. Uh, my first aid is not quite there now. Did I... Does that include my little buff here? I, I think it does, yeah. So I still need about... 
you know, 20 more points in first aid to be able to use these. Oh, total concentration is going to be up for this guy, so that's good. Excellent. All right, let's finish this up. Um, now, so basically, if I felt that I was fighting content that required me to have much stronger stims than what I'm currently using, I could dump about 20 IP into first aid. Um, alternatively, I'm waiting. I'm probably going to upgrade some implants in the near future, so that might bump me up. Um, and I just get first aid buffs from my armor, which levels up as I go, so I'm it's not a, an emergency for me to increase first aid right away. Um, the thing about IP now is that IP is very tight. Um, I have already started falling behind. Oh, we got a biomaterial. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's first blow this ship up. Oh, there we go. We successfully activated the bomb. Uh, you know what? Just to show you, let's, uh, where is it? Here we go. Bloop, teleport to Tyr. Now, of course, I've got to go back to old Athens and hand it in. So we, we the tele default teleport spot is this, uh, this, uh, top left corner of Tyr, just a random corner. The Wampa in Tyr is over here over there. By the way, you can always find the Wampa just by looking in the sky, and it's always this big spire. However, we're going to go to the northeast corner of Tyr, which is where the grid is, and uh, it's just a bit faster. I'm just going to grid to Old Athens, and then go turn in our alien mission. Now, uh, what I want to do... I guess there are a couple of things that I want to do. I think now would be a good time to go to the Shadowlands to get a few things done there. Um... So that is one thing that I want to do. The other thing I want to do... Uh, actually, I kind of just forgot what that other thing is. I just... Uh, I was just thinking about it. That is very weird. Um, well, anyways. I do want to go to the Shadowlands, so maybe we'll do that. Newland, Old Athens is back here. Maybe it'll come back to me. Um, okay, what could it have possibly been? Oh, implants. Uh, I wanted to take a quick look at level 75 implants and see how hard they would be to equip and and uh, and to see if uh, and how expensive they are so that we're gonna do that quickly before we head to the Shadowlands now what are we gonna do in the Shadowlands we need um, the first uh, zone in the Shadowlands is called Nascence. Um, it's a great place just to go get experience, right? And I prefer going there than to the uh, than to the dungeons, than to Temple of Three Winds, right? Um, well, the other thing we could do is we could wrap up this uh, this mission out in the wastelands. That'd be nice to just get taken care of. So maybe we'll do that, and we'll go. We'll wrap up all these things. Okay, mission complete. And we'll save the Shadowlands for maybe next episode. Okay, good. So we're ready for whenever we hit level 45, I guess. Yeah, whenever we get level 45. Um, so let's go to the shop first. Um, so there are two things. Yeah, let's go to the shop. Or, 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 maybe we go to Wailing Wastes. Uh, I'm going to look, because so I can look some of this up on, on my other screen here. Uh, and we got Rubber Bandit here. So I'm going to take the Wampa to Wailing Wastes. Now, I'm still False Profession Metaphysicist for a while, so I don't have a good run speed buff. Uh, so that's too bad. It'll be a bit of a slow walk. Um, so what is our... So we can actually spend some IP here. So yeah, IP is pretty tight. As you can see, I've almost run out and I haven't really assigned anything. I haven't assigned these. Um, I'm focusing on computer literacy. And why is that? Because the belt that I want to equip from the Temple of Three Winds requires 225. Um, 
Actually, I don't really need it anymore because I can false profession trader and traders have a complete buff. And I, that's a nano that I want to buy. Yes, are we going to... Maybe. There we go. Um, and treatment is something else that I'm uh, trying to uh, keep buffed. Okay, what is going on here? Hmm. Let's uh, restart the client there. That was a bit. That was a bit strange. All right, I'm going to. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, we will be right back. I'm gonna maybe split this into two shorter episodes. Actually, let's just end the episode here. So I'll see you guys soon. We'll wrap up a few of the uh, missions, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.